Cooper Stories, our community. This is Local 5 News with Tom Zelaski, Aaron Davison, and Chief Meteorologist Luke Sampy. And so, as a tribute to his life and service, his duties well done, to our brother Mitch Lungard, your last alarm, you are going home. Now at Local 5, families, friends, and co-workers gather tonight to say their goodbyes to fallen firefighter Mitch Lungard. Good evening and thank you for joining us. Northeast Wisconsin paused to honor and say final farewells to fallen Appleton firefighter Mitchell Lungard. The 14-year veteran with the Appleton Fire Department died in the line of duty in a downtown Appleton shooting incident last Wednesday. According to officials, a man suffering a medical emergency reportedly began shooting shortly after receiving care at the Valley Transit Center. Four people suffered injuries during that incident, including the 37-year-old firefighter who later died at a local hospital. Tonight, we continue our coverage of the funeral and processional for Lungard. And a procession of hundreds of fire department vehicles and law enforcement from across the state and across the country even helped to escort Lungard's body to the funeral chapel this evening. We have reporters at the fire station where Lungard served, as well as Appleton Alliance Church in Grand Chute, where visitation and services were held earlier tonight. We start, though, at the Brett Schneider Trutin Nickel Funeral Chapel with Local 5's Justin Rosati. Justin? Tom and Aaron, good evening. You won't believe this. The funeral procession just ended maybe a minute ago, but we're going to take a look right now at some of these. Uh, maybe we can see these lights off in the distance. Hundreds of vehicles coming in from all over the country, most of them from Wisconsin and surrounding states, uh, police and fire vehicles. And we had dozens of people come out here tonight uh, to remember Mitch Lungard, again, with the events ending here tonight, the same place they started at 1 p.m. this afternoon with uh, at the Brett Schneider Funeral Home. And here I'm going to, we're talking to Steve. Steve Smith and Val Smith, who brought their family out here. Steve, tell me who's all here with you tonight. Well, I got two of my daughters, my son, and my wife. Okay, so how many people total? Five. All right, and Steve, why is it important for you to come out and show your support for Mitch Lungard and the firefighting community here in Appleton? I think everybody should. It's something that they do for us every day, and something tragic like this happens, I think everybody should be supporting the whole group all the time. Now we had, again, this is just wrapped up, so we've had a lot of people that have just left in the last few minutes. Uh, however, we had a few dozen people out here and hundreds of people came out today. I know earlier at the Appleton Alliance uh, Church, they actually had to turn people away during the visitation. What does that say about Appleton and the Fox Cities community? I think it shows that we support the community in all things that happen, the police, the fire department. It shows a good community support for our community. All right. And uh, Val, uh, what, what, is it, what do you think, what does that say about the Appleton and the Fox Cities community, all the people that we had out here today supporting Firefighter Lungard? We have a great community, and they are part of what creates a great community is to have our police and the fire department. This is a small way to say thank you for what they do for us. All right, thank you guys so much. Uh, Tom and Aaron, as you said, Mitch Lungard passing away at the very young age of 37. We saw lots of people come out here, and that video that you saw earlier, Tom and Aaron, was the vehicle that carried Mitch Lungard's body with him. So, uh, Tom and Aaron, going to send it back to you. It's been a great uh, day out here. A lot of it's been really good to see the community out here supporting Mitch Lungard and his family in the Appleton firefighting community. For now, reporting live in Appleton, Justin Rosavi, Local 5 News. Now, before that procession arrived at the funeral home, it drove by fire station number one, and that is where Mitch Lungard was stationed during his service. Local 5's Robin Ogenye was at the station when the procession passed by and joins us live now. Robin? Aaron, Tom, hundreds of people lined the streets surrounding fire station one here in Appleton. And I'll tell you, before the procession came through, everyone was talking, laughing, but once it started rolling through, it got awfully quiet. The reverence that was shown was just unbelievable. And we saw fire trucks and police cars from just about every part of the state. We even saw one truck that was from Iowa, which was really great to see. And what was even better is that so many departments pitched in tonight so that the Appleton firefighters could go and attend Mr. Lungard's funeral tonight. Uh, stations from Madison and Milwaukee and Fond du Lac were all here helping to fill in. So it's just one more sign that shows that this community has really pulled together for Mr. Lungard. Tom, Aaron. 
Thank you, Rob. And the evening began with an emotional funeral service at Appleton Alliance Church. And Local 5's Paul Evenson was at the service, and he joins us now with a, a look at that tear-filled goodbye. Paul? Well, there were touching tributes, there were tears, and even some laughter as family, friends, and those who worked alongside driver-engineer Mitch Lungard said their goodbyes today. The ceremony itself was private, but media was given video footage from inside Appleton Alliance Church, as several of those who knew Mitchell told stories of what it was like to live and work alongside the 14-year veteran. Bagpipes played as Lungard's casket was placed back onto fire truck 9321 for the post-processional. Today's events giving some closure to what's been a very emotional few days for everyone involved. We have seen in the past few days how many lives were impacted by Mitch's service to our community. Knowing that Mitch will not be forgotten brings us comfort during this difficult time. When Mitch became a firefighter, he swore to serve his community, helping people, and he died selflessly doing that. Tonight's post-processional contained so many vehicles that it took nearly 40 minutes for them all to leave the church parking lot. The Theta Care helicopter even flew above, shining its spotlight down on Rig 9321. Reporting from Grand Chute, Paul Evenson, Local 5 News. Thank you, Paul. And that statement was a statement read by Megan Cash from the Appleton Police Department, but it was a statement from the family, from the Mitchell Lungard's family. family, thanking yeah. everyone for their outpouring of support. We'll be back with a look at the daily challenges faced by law enforcement and what one family is doing to help. And as we head to break, remembering fallen Appleton firefighter Mitchell Lungard.